Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Emma Stig. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines may be available for under 40s as early as September. The head of the COVID task force has held talks with state and territory health officials about the rollout, confirming more GPs will be able to deliver the jab. Pharmacists will also come online as supplies ramp up. COVID-19 task force commander Lieutenant General John Fruin is confident more people will soon have access to the shot. Look, on the current supply forecast that we have, then... Uh... I think that's when we're getting closer to having greater choice. Uh, but I I won't tie myself to specific dates at this stage. It comes after almost 147,000 doses of the COVID vaccine were administered in Australia in the past 24 hours. It takes the total number of jabs to 8.4 million since the rollout began in February. Health officials in New South Wales will announce tomorrow whether the current lockdown will end as planned on Friday. There were 18 new cases in the state on Tuesday. Queensland is the only other state to record new infections with one positive result. A Royal Commission has heard profits were the number one priority for casino operator Crown Resort. An executive who joined the company this year has admitted there are multiple culture and conduct issues and staff aren't properly looked after. An Australian couple is among the 28 bodies pulled from the rubble after that apartment building collapse in Florida. And as expected, the RBA has left interest rates on hold for July at point. In sport, the Victorian government is confident the Australian Open and Melbourne Cup will still go ahead despite cancelling the November Grand Prix due to the pandemic. The new cap on international travellers and the slow vaccine rollout is being blamed for the decision. And Ayla Tomlanovic says she's excited to be part of tennis history as she gears up to take on world number one Ash Barty in the first all-Australian Wimbledon quarterfinal since 1980. In Entertainment News, Britney Spears' longtime manager has called it quits, citing the pop star's intention to officially retire amid her conservatorship battle. Larry Rudolph had worked as the singer's manager for much of her 25-year career. Rapper turned actor Ludacris says he put a stop to his head-to-toe tattoo plans years ago after realising the body art would affect his experience on movie sets. The Fast and Furious franchise star only has three inkings, but admits he would have had many more had he not started working in Hollywood. And Steve Irwin's son Robert will kick off Discovery's Shark Week by swimming with the creatures that killed his dad. The teenager will be filming with stingrays at the Great Barrier Reef before heading to the Neptune Islands to swim with great whites. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.